Hello guys, it's Julia here, and today in this video, I'm going to be testing the Dell Cloud Recovery, I should say, because I actually got a laptop recently, if you guys saw that last video, and I thought, why not see if I can try to get the OEM install on it? Now, I will say I've used this in the past, and there's times where it just included Dell software, but not the OEM, so there is a chance that this might not work at all, and it probably won't get the OEM install, but I am curious to see what it installs, what it includes, and how it looks. So I'm doing this just for testing purposes, or if you guys have a Dell and you need to reinstall the OS, if you are able to get the OEM install, you can try. However, this might not work. So anyways, we are going to download the Dell OS recovery tool, and it tells you how to do it, you know, download the tool, make sure you have .NET, launch the tool. I mean, everyone has .NET though, but launch it, enter the service tag, select the OS you want to install. It'll create the drive. Be sure you obviously have the USB handy, and then you can install it with the, with the drive, which we'll show in this video. Now it does mention if some KB is installed that um, it might not boot successfully. I believe that was that secure boot issue I was having yesterday when I was trying to boot to my Ventoy and it like wasn't working. It probably had something to do with that KB, but an easy solution is just to disable secure boot and that actually does work. So I just do that as a solution instead, but we're gonna download this tool. So I'm just gonna save it and then I'm gonna run it. So yes, okay, we're gonna install it. Now it has an option to use another computer because obviously I'm doing I'm not doing this on the laptop I'm actually doing this on as I'm creating this on my desktop, so it should install. Yeah, here it is. Um, Dell OS recovery tool. So let's launch that. It tells us what a service tag is. I know what a service tag is. I don't know this thing help improve the tool. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, another computer. So now we need to enter the service tag. I'm not sure if I spelt that right. Oh, it did. Okay, so it picked up the computer because it is a latitude 7490. I don't know if this will get the OEM. I actually hope it does because that'd be nice. Oh yeah, it does say we need a 16 gig USB and it somehow knows my name. It probably saw my username. Okay, next. Um, yep, there's our, there's our USB, and we have to select, it'll be reformatted, but if I do this, you could see that there's nothing on this USB, so it's fine. It does have, say Windows 10, although, let's go to Advanced Recovery, because I forgot that, uh, I want to see the rest, so I'm gonna have to enter this again. Alright, I forgot about the Advanced, oh look, you could see we actually have two of them. All right, guys, I'm back. I had to go do something else, but I'm going to do the first one because it has all the checks for having Dell apps, drivers, and everything. As of as this one right here that has a full Windows 10 has none of that, and it's probably just a clean install. We don't want just a clean install. We want to have all the Dell stuff. So we're gonna click this one. And yes, I understand it's gonna erase it. Download. And this shouldn't take long at all because this downloads like support assist to the USB and then from there I believe support assist will download the OS on the laptop itself. I think that's how this works. So right now we're just creating the USB and I'll say this, if you guys are doing this on your Dell laptops, if it has all the checks like that, then most likely you will get the OEM install or at least get the drivers. However, if it's like the second option and there's only the bottom checkbox, I wouldn't even bother. I would just download Windows 10 or Windows 11 from Microsoft at the media creation tool and install that instead. Because odds are, we don't know what version of Windows 10 this is. It could be an older version, we don't know. But, you know, there's only one way to find out, which is, you know, downloading and installing it and seeing what we get. But if we're able to get all the OEM stuff, that's gonna be really cool. I think when I did this back on my E5470, it only had the bottom one checked, and I can tell you, like, it did not have much. I don't even think it had drivers. Like, it was 
not that great. I think it had like one Dell app and that's it. Like, it was really strange, but anyways, pretty much we're just gonna let this go. This shouldn't even take long at all. All right, we're done. It's just saying how to do it, which I obviously already know how to do this, but it wants us to boot the USB. It tells us to press F12, which is the boot menu. We know exactly how to do that, so we don't need that anymore. So also this is what our USB looks like. It, we have our USB, it has files there, and then I don't know what it did with this, but there's just nothing there. Maybe it'll actually put the, um, image on here I'm not sure because it calls it media but there's nothing in it it's just blank but I guess we'll find out once we do this all right so this part is just me pushing f12 booting the usb from the boot menu and then once I boot that I'll be able to get into the dell support assist recovery so then we can actually reset the machine so once I entered it, as you can see, it was like saying all this stupid stuff and I was just trying to get past it. But you'll click the reset in the bottom right corner that resets it to factory settings. And you guys can see it does require an internet connection. I didn't have it connected. I ended up selecting wired because I ended up using ethernet and that worked. So then you guys can see I had reset and update. That was the only option I had since it did the support assist where it downloads, which is why it needs an internet connection. So I selected that one, clicked next, told it, no, I don't need to back up my files because I had nothing important on the machine. And then it just tells you, oh, this will reset everything. Yes, I know, I'm very much well aware, continue. And then I tell it, yes, I know it's gonna reset it because it makes you confirm it again because yes, it does erase your data. So then at that point, now all we have to do is sit back and relax, wait for it to reset and all that stuff. Now you guys will be seeing a time lapse of this. I end up showing some of the apps as well afterwards in the clips and also run a ton of Windows updates because it had a lot of updates afterwards and it actually had me run Windows update, which I found interesting, which is actually good because, you know, a lot of the time if you reset your computer, it's not gonna be on the latest or if you get a computer, it's not gonna be. So it's good that the Dell recovery actually got me to do that. So you guys will see in this time lapse, just me resetting it and yeah, so just enjoy the show, I guess.
so at the end, I had a weird issue where after it installed the updates and I checked again, it closed. I believe I had to uninstall Dell Command Update and then reinstall it, which by the way, you can get it on Winget and the package name is Dell.CommandUpdate and I actually install that on all of my computers that are Dells and it's very useful for making sure the drivers are up to date. But anyways, if you guys just need a really easy way to reinstall Windows, this is a really good thing to do just to do the Dell Support Assist Recovery. I did actually export the drivers from this install because I did reinstall the laptop recently with Windows 11 as I'm trying to migrate supported systems to it. Also, I would recommend uninstalling the Support Assist Recovery Assistant as it's not really needed anymore after the recovery and it always pops up on every boot, so yeah. Anyways, that's that. Once again, I'd like to thank our channel members, Samir Yoshizawa, also Marcus, DJ1i28, Ritu, KPO, The Full Moon, Denkorn, Zygvogs, Leo, Andre Partararu, Tomajita Tech, Real Viat Gina People, Overgreen, Cyclone, Carson, Fumamo Taka Dadia. Anyways, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully this helps you guys if you have Dells. And bye-bye for now.